I'm Jay Desio from DroneWorks. Welcome to the DroneWorks Pro Series on the Mavic 2 Enterprise aircraft. The Mavic 2 Enterprise Series aircraft includes the Mavic 2 Enterprise and the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. This video is an overview of the Mavic 2 Enterprise package and includes a setup, activation, calibration, and test flight of the Mavic 2 Enterprise Series aircraft. Let's go! This is a lengthy tutorial and covers topics you want to refer to again. We've included a timetable of topics in the description below the video. Click on the blue highlighted time and it'll take you directly to that topic. The Mavic 2 Enterprise Series aircraft comes packaged in a well-designed hard case designed to protect your aircraft and accessories. The Mavic 2 Enterprise base package includes the aircraft and one self-heating battery, remote controller, modular accessories, which we'll discuss in depth in a separate video, AC charger and cables, spare props, various mobile device cables, and a spare modular accessory port cover. The Flymore kit, which is highly recommended, includes two additional flight batteries. I also recommend getting an additional flight battery for a total of four. Additional accessories with the Flymore kit includes a charging hub that will charge four flight batteries, a car charger, soft carry case, and spare props. To extend the arms of the aircraft, Move the forward arms outward from the side of the aircraft to its full forward position. The rear arms are extended by moving the arms down and to the rear of the aircraft to their full rearward position. There are two clockwise and two counterclockwise motors. The clockwise motors and propellers are identified by the black coloring of the prop hub in the top of the motor. The counterclockwise motors and props are identified by a white ring on the prop hub and white dash marks on the top of the motor. Make sure you properly match the right prop to the right motor. Each prop hub has three mounting flanges that fit into three slots on the motor. Place the prop on the motor shaft and align the prop hub flanges with the slots. Hold the outside of the motor, push the prop down so the prop hub flanges go down into the slots. Then rotate the prop hub in the direction of the arrow shown at the base of the prop until it stops. Release the prop to allow the flanges to seat in the locked position. Check to be sure the prop is securely mounted by holding the motor and attempting to move the prop hub. Mavic 2 Enterprise Series aircraft utilize the DJI Pilot app. The version of the DJI Pilot app used in this video is version 1.1 Build 431 for iOS. DJI Pilot is also available for Android and Crystal Sky devices and may appear differently than the versions shown in this video. Important notice, some companies and agencies may have restrictions on what permissions are allowed by DJI Pilot. Check with your company or agency prior to installing the DJI Pilot app. Ensure that your remote controller and aircraft are not powered on. They are not needed for this step. Go to the appropriate app store for your operating system. Search for DJI Pilot. Install DJI Pilot. After DJI Pilot is successfully installed, start DJI Pilot. Answer the prompts that request permissions. Some companies and agencies may have restrictions on what is permitted. Answer the prompts accordingly. If you have never logged into a DJI flight app, you will first need to register. If you already have an account but require a separate account for a company or agency aircraft, now is the time to register the new account. If you already have an account to use with this aircraft, click Sign In. Enter the phone number or email address for the account. Enter your password. 
Click Sign In. DJI Pilot is now ready. One thing to note, the iOS version of DJI Pilot is actually an iPhone app. If DJI Pilot is installed on an iPad, a double arrow icon will be located in the bottom right area of the display that can be used to reduce or expand the size of the app. Prior to setting up the Mavic 2 Enterprise aircraft, the flight and remote controller batteries must be charged. Connect the charging cable to the flight battery. The status lights in the flight battery will begin to flash. The status lights will change from flashing to steady as the battery charges. Once charging is complete, the status lights will turn off. The remote controller can be charged with the micro USB cable attached to the charger or with a separate micro USB charger. The display on the remote will show the charge state of the remote. If you have the Flymore kit, connect the charging cable to the charging hub and insert up the four batteries in the charging hub. The charging hub will charge one battery at a time, starting with the battery with the highest charge. As each battery becomes fully charged, the status lights for that battery will turn off. A new aircraft must first be activated before it can be flown. As previously mentioned, start with a fully charged flight battery and remote controller. Power on the remote controller by pressing the power button once and quickly releasing it, and then pressing it a second time, holding it in until the remote is powered up. Start the DJI Pilot app on the mobile device. Remove the gimbal and camera protective hood by releasing the latch at the bottom of the cover. Pull the cover down and rotate it forward, and then slide it forward to extract the section of the cover between the aircraft and the camera. Power on the aircraft by pressing the power button once quickly and then a second time holding the power button until the aircraft powers up. A prompt will appear on the DJI Pilot app display to activate the aircraft. Click Next. Choose an aircraft name. Click Continue. Select the control mode. Mode 2 is the default and what is used most often in the U.S. Do not select a different mode unless you are an experienced in other modes. Click Continue. Customize your C1 and C2 buttons. These can be left at the defaults and set up later in the Settings menu once you become familiar with the different options. Click Continue. The next screen is an overview of the remote controls display. Click Continue. Select the units of measure appropriate for your location. Click Continue. If you're a new pilot, it's recommended to leave beginner mode enabled. This will enable certain restrictions, such as requiring a good GPS signal and limit altitude and range. It will also prevent the use of other flight modes, such as sport mode. Click Continue. Confirm the account this aircraft will be linked to. This cannot be changed once the aircraft is activated. Check with your company or agency to determine if there's a specific email address to use. Click Activate. The Mavic 2 Enterprise is now activated and ready to use. The Academy is a flight simulator where you can practice without actually flying the aircraft. Skip the Academy for now. You can always access it later if you choose. Click Skip. The IMU calibration should only be performed when the aircraft is cold. If you have just completed the aircraft activation, let the aircraft cool for at least 30 minutes before this step. To calibrate the IMU, the aircraft must be on a flat level surface, free from movement. The IMU calibration will require the aircraft to be moved into different positions at each step. It's recommended that the aircraft is positioned the same as shown on the display, so it's easier to position the aircraft in the correct position. If the aircraft is not positioned correctly during any step, it will not proceed to the next step. Position your aircraft with the front facing to your left. With the remote, mobile device, and aircraft powered on, select the settings menu by clicking the three dots in the upper right hand corner of your display. 
click the top icon. Scroll down and click Sensors. Click Calibrate IMU. When you're ready to start the IMU calibration, click Start. The aircraft is in the same position as the aircraft shown on the display. The IMU calibration is started. It may take several minutes for the first step to complete. The rear arm LEDs will be yellow during each step. When each step is completed, the rear arm LEDs will flash green and the aircraft position on the display will change to the next position that the aircraft should be placed in. The IMU calibration will take longer than shown in this video. Segments have been sped up to conserve time. Continue placing the aircraft in the positions indicated on the display until the IMU calibration is complete. Once the IMU calibration has successfully been completed, the aircraft must be restarted. Place the aircraft upright and click Restart. The next step is to do a gimbal calibration. Click the menu back arrow. Then click on the gimbal icon. To perform a gimbal calibration, click on Gimbal Auto Calibration. The aircraft must be on a level surface and the gimbal unobstructed. Click Confirm. The gimbal calibration will start. There will be periods of time where the gimbal does not move. After a series of gimbal movements, the gimbal calibration will be complete. Power off the aircraft by quickly pressing the power button once, then pressing and holding the power button again until the aircraft powers off. Exit the DJI Pilot app. Power off the remote by quickly pressing the power button once, then pressing and holding the power button again until the remote powers off. It's time to move outside for the compass calibration and flight test. The compass calibration must be done away from metal objects. If performing the compass calibration by or on concrete, make sure the concrete does not contain rebar. It is recommended not to have cell phones or watches on while performing the compass calibration. After the compass calibration, we'll be conducting a test flight. So now is a good time to do a pre-flight check. Check the arms for proper movement without binding and if they fully extend to their flight position. Check the aircraft for any damage. Check for any binding at the prop pivot points. Spread the props out. They don't have to be perfectly aligned, it's just a good idea to have them opened up. Check the prop hubs are securely mounted to the motors. Check the battery level. Make sure the battery is firmly seated and locked in place. Remove the gimbal protective cover. Check the gimbal and camera for free movement without binding. Position the flight mode switch on the right side of the remote to P mode. Once the remote DJI Pilot and the aircraft are powered on and ready, open the settings menu by clicking on the three dots in the upper right hand corner of the DJI Pilot app. Click on the top icon. Scroll to sensors and click on sensors. Click on compass. Click on calibrate compass. Click start. Put the remote down. Take the aircraft and move away from the remote. Rotate the aircraft 360 degrees horizontally. The rear aircraft LEDs will flash when this is complete. Point the nose of the aircraft down. Rotate the aircraft 360 degrees vertically. The rear aircraft LEDs will flash when this is complete. We're now ready for our test flight. Make sure ready to go GPS is displayed before starting the motors. To start the motors, bring both sticks down and inward. The motors will start. Move the left stick forward and the aircraft will take off. Bring the aircraft to a hover. Test the controls by moving the right stick right, then left, then forward, then backward. 
Move the left stick left. Then right. Then forward. Then downward. Let the aircraft hover. Now take the aircraft for a short test flight. Test stick input and observe the aircraft. Return to a hover and allow the aircraft to hover for several seconds. Land the aircraft. 